Hey there, Robert here, coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial, and in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at creating this rotating starburst effect. So this tutorial was inspired by Iceflow Studios' latest tutorial on how to create the starburst effect in Photoshop. So as you can see here, he came out with some pretty neat results, and the starbursts have a very nice texture to them. They have some stars actually going on in the background. So we're going to be creating that today, but a little simpler. But if you'd like to see this tutorial, you can click the link in the description and it'll show you the basics of creating the Starburst so that you can customize it to your needs. So we're going to go into Photoshop and I'm going to start off by going to File New. And this is going to be for a document at 1280 by 720. So if your video is in 720p, this will work for you. Uh, you might have to up the dimensions if it's 1440 by 1080. So we're going to start our document. I'm going to name it Starburst Vid. With, with that 1280 by 1280, click OK. So here we have our document. So what I'm going to do is actually double click the background layer to turn it into a real layer. I'm going to name it Starburst. So here we have our Starburst layer. I set the foreground color to a light blue and the background color to a darker blue. And now what we want to do is grab the gradient tool here. Set the colors from foreground to background. We're going to choose a linear gradient. And we're going to start from the top and go to the bottom. Hold down shift so it's a nice straight line. Let go. And you can see it goes from the light blue to the darker blue. Now that we have this, we're going to go to Filter, Distort, Wave. And here we have all these settings set up. You can see these settings here by pausing the video. And these are also the same settings Howard used in his Starburst Photoshop tutorial. So click OK. And here we have our lines. So what we want to do is turn this into the starburst. We can do that by going to Filter, Distort, Polar Coordinates. We're going to make sure to choose Rectangular to Polar. And you can see the effect is a nice little starburst. Now we can go a step further, create another new layer. Uh, we can bring the color to a lighter blue. Maybe change this up a little. And we can go back to the Gradient tool choose the radial gradient here start from the middle hold down shift and drag up let go and here we have our nice little gradient so i'm going to actually change the blend mode of this from normal to linear dodge add and you may be thinking wow that really brightened up the starburst so what we're going to do is add a layer mask to this and with the layer mask selected, make sure your default colors are set. White foreground, black background, radial gradient. And we're just going to simply hold on shift and let go. I don't want it to be that big. Just like that. And I'm actually going to bring the opacity down a little bit. Now when we bring this into Vegas, we're going to kind of choose a smaller portion of this. So keep that in mind. So all we need to do is simply save it. Go to file, save as. We can save this as Starburst Vid Blue. And just like that, we can open up Vegas because Vegas can open up PSDs. Now, if that didn't work, you can always use a JPEG or PNG. I'm going to navigate to the folder over here, choose the Starburst Vid Blue, drag that right into Vegas, maybe stretch it out a little bit right around there. And when we go over it, you can see that it's not looking the best right now. So what we're going to do is go to the event pan crop here. In these settings, we want to change the preset to 16 by 9 widescreen. And you can see that take effect already. And we want to make sure that everything is locked over here. The aspect ratio as well as the size about center which will size it to the center. And we're just going to simply size it down just a bit. Right around there on its current keyframe. So we're going to go forward a couple seconds and we're going to hold down shift and rotate this all the way around so that the F is upside down just like that. And when you hold down shift, it'll snap to the positions. Then we can click and drag this keyframe all the way to the end. You can even select these two keyframes, right click, choose smooth, slow, etc. I'm going to go ahead and choose slow and we can preview that here just like that. So, you know, you can always hold control, drag this out so it's a little slower in slow motion. You can see it's spinning nicely. And we can even add a brand new phone, a phone that just came out in 2012, just like that. It's a really neat phone. You should check it out. Add that to the top. And you can see it makes the phone just look so much better with its 
blue screen of death. So there we have it, rotating Starburst in Sony Vegas. Now remember, we're talking about the Starburst here in the background of the video. We're not talking about the actual candy Starburst. that are so darn delicious, especially the pink ones. Mm -mm -mm. Toasty. And of course, with Sony, you can always adjust the keyframes, make this turn clockwise, counterclockwise, make it turn a little, and then back up, etc. You can do pretty much anything you want with it. And I'm just going to bring these back to linear. So there you go. Remember, you can always visit the website, robertsproductions.net, for more. You can always follow me on Twitter, at robsproductions, like us on Facebook, etc. If you have any questions, you can always at reply me through Twitter. And I'll try my best to answer those. You know, anywhere you think, I'm probably there. Even the Walmart down the street. So there you go. That was easy. That was easy. See you next time.